Okay, we're going to talk about recording videos, and we're going to talk about audio, and I've got a few packages here that I just received. I'm going to go to, go to my trusty Chris Reeves Sabenza knife here to open these up, see what's in here. Now, by the way, I'm using the uh, built-in mic on a Sony NEX7 to record this audio right now. <clears throat> and we're going to look at various other solutions and talk about their pluses and minuses. Here, I have did another video, so I'm not going to go into detail on this right now, but this is really a handy item and I hope I'm in the right spot for you to see that. Um, this hooks into the iPhone earplug and this allows you to hook up an XLR mic and it does a very good job. I've got a video up on my blog demonstrating that. We don't won't go into that. That's the quick easy solution for great audio when you're using an iPhone to do like an interview situation. One, one thing you'll probably notice is there's a blower. Uh, the air conditioning is running and it's fairly loud so that's probably being picked up by the built-in mic on this NEX7 and that's one of the things we're going to address with this gear and we're going to talk about in this video is how do you isolate audio, what are the advantages and disadvantages of various options Okay, so just like taking pictures, sometimes you need to isolate the subject from the background. Let's say, like yesterday, I was shooting a Civil War reenactment event, and I didn't want like modern day vehicles in the background and things like that when I'm taking portraits of people. So I blur the background, use a real shallow depth of field, and isolate the subject. So it's pretty easy to do in photos, but with audio, it's a whole new ball game. And here's a a system that um, Sennheiser has um, that I've done a lot of research on and for the price point this is about an $800 system this seems to be the, the most bang for the buck and I'll show you what it does and I'm not going to go into detail about this system because there's plenty of videos that already do that I'm really just going into various options that we have out in the field Okay, so, so this is what comes in the box. I hope that's focusing in on this. Um, <clears throat> this is for hooking on to the end of a regular microphone, like an SM58 Shore or something like that, and making it wireless. That comes in the kit. Then there's a mount on here to mount it onto your, your camera. So again, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on this kit because there's plenty of videos that already do that. Um, but what we're going to do now is I'm going to power this system up and I'm going to hook it up to this and I'm going to do the rest of the video, hopefully using this for audio. And then we'll see a difference and then we'll go over some other options. This is a test recording using the Sennheiser setup. It's on my lapel. The AC is blowing in the background. Testing one, two, three. This is at the default uh, setting, so we're going to check and see what our volume level is. We'll finish this test right now. Okay, I figured I'd just do a quick clip showing you what it looks like with the Sennheiser uh, receiver attached to the NEX7. I used a, uh, a simple uh, uh, grip amount here that has a couple of hot shoe adapters on it. You can see, well, no, you can't see if I turn it like that. Oh, well. Um, you can kind of see how it's attached there. And then this will attach very easily onto a tripod. And um, that's how I'm going to do the rest of the video. And I do have the uh, lapel mic, probably see it right here, um, on my lapel. Okay, I'm trying to hold this relatively steady. Let's see if you can see. Yeah, okay. So this is the... Uh, microphone on the um, Sennheiser unit that makes this um, 
This is actually a Shure SM58 mic wireless. Okay. So theoretically, I can walk all over the place with this. And I'm, as you can see, I'm about three inches away. Okay. Now I'm about six inches away with the mic. Now I'm eating the mic, eating the mic. Okay. In normal voice. And now uh, down about six or eight inches away. So again, just testing this setup. Okay. Um, if you follow my videos, you'll, you probably know that I'm generally out in the field covering events. And this is my think tank belt that I wear. Um, and so I'm limited what I can carry. I also use the Segway at most events, so I can carry a little bit of gear on the Segway. But generally, it's all on my person. Um, and my go-to video recorder has always been this NEX VG10, at least for the last couple of years which is a great option in the field because this mic array with this windsock on it does a pretty good job of picking up audio and even interview situations if I get pretty close to the people it does a pretty good job it doesn't really isolate the audio though and the video I just did yesterday at the Gettysburg reenactment is a perfect example where the gentleman is playing the guitar and there's some people talking in the background and it did pick up some of that at home do they miss me it would be an assurance most dear to know that this moment's loved one is saying I wish he were here to from him and then somebody's talking over here a few feet away it might pick up some of that so that's the real disadvantage to this this situation out in the field so again, it's all about isolating the audio. So this is good in many circumstances. In some circumstances, you need to go with another option. Now, one way to do it that's fairly inexpensive and very reliable is to hook up a microphone. And I carry this kit with me at all times to do just that. This is a Shure SM57 and a cable and a cable adapter that plugs in. This plugs into the 3.5 millimeter or eighth inch jack, sometimes called the input on the NEX7 camera, which I'm shooting this with right now. So with this, I can plug this in, and this gives me, this is about a six foot cord. This is great for interview situations, totally isolates the person because they got to be pretty close to this mic for it to pick up. Um, and so that's a great thing for interviews. But you're dealing with a cord, and you're dealing with you have to hook it up. And in the field, if you're moving around a lot and so forth, sometimes these things are not easy to do. But that is one option, very inexpensive option. This dongle is about $12, I think, on Amazon. I have another video all about just this. And then, of course, the microphone, and you're done. So very simple, very straightforward option for getting audio into one of these cameras. Now, the problem with this, two problems, is range, because you got a cord involved. So even if you have a 16-foot cord, you can only go a limited uh, range. Um, and uh, the other the other problem with with a situation like this is I can't really control the levels although it it works pretty daggone good just plugging it right into the camera I'm, I'm really amazed how good a job the camera does but you don't have quite as much control now right now of course I have the wireless the lapel mic the Sennheiser system that I just showed you which it is great because you have basically unlimited range. I can go two, three hundred feet away from the camera and it's still going to find sound good. I can walk all around here. I'm totally cordless. So that, that is a good option. Um, I have another option is to record audio. And there's a lot of videos about all this on the web, but I'm just trying to show you all the various options. Record with this Zoom recorder. And this I can hook up to four inputs, two XLR in, and then these two mics here. So I can actually do four track recording on in the field. I could put this, for example, I could have put this close to his guitar to pick up the guitar. I could have mic'd him with a mic. 
Um, or I could have mic'd the guitar and mic'd him, which probably been the best solution. But again, you got to set all that stuff up. And in the field, sometimes you don't have time to do all of that. The people are in a hurry. They're moving from one place to the other. It's not always easy to do that. But I do have this just in case it is warranted to do that option. So, and in, and in this bag, I just have some other mics and cables and so forth. And I don't always carry that bag with me. I only take that specifically to certain events where I think I can set those things up. So, just to recap, we have the, the iPhone option, which is you just take this cable right here, plug it into the iPhone, plug a XLR cable and a mic onto here, and you're good to go. That's the quickest, easiest way. And I have a video up on that. Um, and then next step up from that is hooking up some kind of an external mic to either the NEX7 or the VG10 that I just showed you. Um, they both take external mic inputs. And so I can plug in the, the cable I just showed you with like a Shure mic. Or I can use a, the wireless Sennheiser system that I have hooked up right now. So... I think that about covers it. And all of this, everything I've talked about, is relatively portable, so which is very important for event, event situations. By the way, the AC blower just came on, and it's right over my head. I don't know if that's picking up on this mic or not. It's a good test. So um, I'm sure I'm missing something, but I'm going to go ahead and call this a wrap. And... Um, I hope you all have found some of this uh, helpful.